From all you can eat lobster and crab legs and a mountain of shrimp to some of the greatest beef you'll have in the Carver Station to a double-sided dessert bar that's got scrumptious the lumptious options and even a charcuterie board? Is the buffet at the Wynn really the best buffet in Las Vegas? Hey yo, what the fuck? I wanted to start this video off or I wanted to title it with some clickbait and tell y'all that the Wynn buffet is overrated and that social media is hyping up the buffet and it's really not as good as everybody makes it seem like they do on social media. But y'all know I keep it real and I just couldn't do that because this buffet was so fire. I went into a food coma afterward. So we got here to the buffet at about 1.50 p.m. on a Wednesday. So we came midweek. Took us about 20 minutes to sit down. We didn't have a reservation. So we were able to get seated in 20 minutes. And they do have a two-hour limit. But I might have went over it by a little bit because I was filming. And they were cool about it. But as you can see, it is a very, very large buffet now. This was at the end of the walkthrough. Um, we actually got seated closer to where the cold side is, which you'll see momentarily. But it's a massive buffet. You'll definitely get your steps in. If you do get seated closer to the entry to the buffet, this is where you'll be seated or maybe further outside. Now, before we dive into the food, let's go ahead and take a walk through around the buffet. And as you can see, this is the cold section where you will get the lobster and crab legs and shrimp. Oh, my God, it was so good. And as you see, it's unlimited. This is a seafood lover's paradise. Now, over here past this part of the buffet, this is actually a sushi bar. So they have like an Asian station here. Um, so as you can see, if you love sushi, they got your sushi options. Um, I believe those were the wonton, so you can get you some wontons. Um, you know, then they had some salad options here for folks who want to get some salad and other toppings. And this is more of the Asian station, so this was actually more dim, dim sum options. The lady was standing at a fuss station, so if y'all like pho, they have that. Uh, this was some crispy wonton shrimp. And then this is the Carver station, so they've got prime rib, a wagyu beef. They've got ham, as you see right here. It was really good. And then they have all of the different side options, so you can get like potatoes and all different options there. Um, these were more sides. This actually was like a shrimp and I believe a type of beef. They had green beans, man, all the different type of sides y'all could think of. They got everything here. You know, your veggies right there for the folks who need that bread because some folk want that bread with their meat. They got that bread there. And then these were more additional sides. I believe these were where the potatoes was. You had the potatoes and then you had truffle mac and cheese, which I did get my hands on. Now, folks who love the seafood boils, they got a whole seafood boil here, as y'all can see. So you can just grab away. And then after the seafood boil, they just got more other sides. This looked like some pasta. I believe this was. They got a pizza station. And oh, my God, definitely had to grab me a slice of the pizza. It was so delicious. This was one thing we all definitely did like. Um, and then as you see here toward the end, they have a charcuterie station. So for all of y'all who get down with the charcuterie, get down. They got that there. And see, they got more bread option here. Some more of the healthy stuff on this side. But this is also the side where they had the hot crab legs as well. You know, they got the salads right here. So for all the folks who might want to just come to a buffet and just get you some salad or have that as a side, they definitely got this salad options. And then over at the very end, at the beginning, this is like a juice station. So they had mango, ube, and guava juices. And then you've got your fruits around that as well. Now, for my first plate, I had a loaded with seafood. I'm a seafood guy. This is seafood buffet. So I got me a mix of the hot crab legs, cold crab legs, some salmon, and then I got some shrimp. And then I got the crab legs that were cold as well. And me, I'm a butter guy. I had to have it take a bath in butter. The shrimp, the salmon, everything had to go in butter. So I loved it, man. Um, the hot, the cold, it didn't matter to me. Some people prefer it cold. Some people prefer it hot. It was scrumptious, the lumptious. I had no issues whatsoever with the seafood. It was a straight W to me. And this right here made the buffet worth it. Just the seafood itself. Now, plate two, round two, I had to go to the Carver station and I had to get some beef. Now, the first thing I got right here, as you see, this is prime rib. I had like a lime or a lemon, or like a lemon lime mix to it. This was the Wagyu beef. This thing in the middle was real tender. And then I also had got me some lamb. The lamb was actually pretty good. Um, then I got a slice of the sausage just because, you know, who don't like who don't like Italian sausage. But I also love my potatoes, especially being from the South. I love my potatoes. This was so fire. They were some of the best potatoes I had. Super creamy. And then I also tried the truffle mac and cheese and pork belly. Now, let me tell you all something. If I'm going to be honest with y'all, the beef was all right. I like the prime rib. Uh, the, Wagyu the Wagyu beef was OK. It was not too bad. Um, it was tender, but it wasn't like really flavorful, but it wasn't all right. It was all right. Uh, the lamb was okay too. 
I would definitely recommend if you're gonna get the Wagyu beef or the prime rib to make sure you get a good cut of it because the one that I got was a little too bloody at the end and it was supposed to be more on like the medium side. But flavor wise, it was all right. I prefer more so the Wagyu over the prime rib. One of the other people with me preferred the prime rib over the Wagyu. Um, but overall, the beef wasn't bad. Like, you know, I've had better, I've had worse. It's nothing that I would definitely rave about. But I didn't even come here to this buffet for the beef. I came strictly for the seafood. But because I was doing a review, I had to try it out for y'all. All right, moving on to dish number three. They got a street taco station. So as you can see, they got all your different toppings here. Um, and you can actually get chicken, al pastor, carne asada, and I forget what the other taco option was, but as you see, they cooked them tacos for you right there in your face. And look at this plate. Once I saw this plate and I took my bite into this taco, I definitely got me a slice of pizza and a pineapple as well. Because I know al pastor is supposed to go with a pineapple. That's the real way to eat al pastor tacos. If it don't got a pineapple, they slacking. Let me tell y'all, this keeping it at 100,000. I like the street tacos better than I like all of the beef options. What? Real talk. I would have, if I had got this taco first, I would have came back and got some more tacos. But I got so full or filled up eating the beef because it was so many different options and it was filling. I had to slow down for a little bit and just try a taco and I was pissed off because I could have ate another taco for sure. I would definitely, definitely come back and get more tacos. This was a seven out of five of everything. This this was up there with this with the seafood for some of the best stuff I had. Took a couple deep breaths, did another lap around. Plate number four, I had to go get me some more of the seafood. Had to get the crab legs, had to get the shrimp. Of course, I had to get me some more butter because it's got to take a bath in butter. That's the way you got to do the seafood. Got to take a bath. But as I said on the first round, man, the seafood was fire. It was scrumptious, the lumptious. And and I would recommend anybody who loves seafood without a doubt. You can just come here and load up on seafood. Hot, cold, don't matter. It was all fire. Just make sure you grab that butter. So after I drank a little bit more Sprite and gave myself a little bit of time to digest, it was time to go hit the dessert bar. And let me tell you, just walking around the dessert bar, my God, you've got the brownie and warm apple crisp at the beginning. So you got the cookies and cupcakes here. This was actually churros that were stuffed churros. So the churros, I believe it had like a caramel cream inside. Um, here you've got your crepe section. So if you want to get some crepes, you can actually have them make you a crepe right there on deck. Now this was the cheesecake and little cake section. So they had some berry cheesecake and key lime pie. They had creme brulee. So if you in any, if you in any of those get downs, they had that there for you. Now, this is the other side of dessert bar, the second side. Now, you had your toppings, but this is the gelato. And I'm going to go ahead and spoil it for y'all right now. This was the best dessert I had out of all the desserts, this gelato. I'll let y'all see which dessert I got, but this was my favorite dessert with gelato. Now, you can see they got some of these cakes right here. To let you know, we go into the cake section. So if you want you some cake, they got the cake right here. They had the chocolate cake, the mousse. They had carrot cake. So if you're looking for that cake, it's right here ready to go. Now, as y'all can see, this was my dessert. I was about stuffed to the max, so I really just got like some taste tester stuff. I got the apple crisp, a little bit of brownie, got the churro. This was the carrot cake. And y'all know I'm a cheesecake boy. I had to get my cheesecake. This was the berry cheesecake. Now, let me talk about the desserts because I don't know what people have said about the desserts, but I'm going to keep it real deal. Holy filled with y'all. The desserts overall were all right. What? There's nothing I'd rave about. You know, um, some of them was good. My favorite dessert, I got the Oreo gelato. The Oreo gelato was scrumptious. That was my favorite thing. Um, I'm a cheesy eight guy. I did like the little berry cheesecake. It definitely was at cheesecake standards. It was really good. I did get the apple crisp, um, and I actually liked that. It was a warm apple crisp. Um, those were the things that I did. Like, I did get the brownie because it was like a brownie fudge mix, and that wasn't too bad. It was all right. The cake that I had, I did not like it at all, nor did anybody else at the table. I had got the carrot cake. One of the other people got the chocolate mousse cake i believe and the cakes were not moist they were more on the dry side than actually moist and so i was very disappointed with the cake but the gelato for sure but overall the wind buffet out of one to five i'm gonna give it a four and a i say 4.75 out of five and strictly is not a five because of the desserts the seafood is ridiculous that makes the money worthwhile they even got caviar here i don't do caviar but a couple of the people I was with, they got the caviar. They make the money worth it by itself. And people always ask, is the buffets worth the money in Vegas? It's not a question about that. Eating at this buffet was like a highway robbery, if we're going to be real. It was $75 to eat at the buffet. We got all the seafood you can get. If you were to go to STK or catching anywhere else and try to get you just a side of crab legs, that's going to be about $30, $40. 
I probably ate about five, six hundred dollars worth of crab legs off the top. Then you got your beef options, you've got the street tacos, you've got the sushi options. Man, there's way too many options for this to be $75 and people wonder if it's worth the money. I most definitely would come back, but I couldn't give it five stars just because at the very, very end, the desserts kind of disappointed me. But I think the other people that I was with would agree as well. But overall, I like the buffet. I can definitely see why a lot of people think this is the best buffet in Vegas now. I don't know that I would 100% agree with that. I'm going to go back to Bacchanal just to do a back and forth comparison. But if y'all been to the Win Buffet, comment, let me know y'all thoughts, what y'all think about the buffet. Did y'all like the buffet? Were there things that y'all didn't like about the buffet? If you haven't been here, does this make you want to go? I hope it do, because if it don't, take your ass anyway. But that's going to do it for this video. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll holler at y'all in the next video.